Now I want that drop. Yeah, now I do what I want. 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 Selective hearing. Shaq wanted it in the post. He could get it back. He leaves it and scores. Man. Over time, we have had dominant post scorers in the NBA, such as Shaquille O'Neal and Karl Malone. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to be them in NBA 2K17 with the most dominant build for a big man in the game. What is going on guys, TD for 3 here and today I am bringing you the best post score build in NBA 2K17. I've been excited to show you guys this as you guys can see Shaq right there, one of the best post scorers in the NBA history. But yeah, let's get right into this build. So obviously you're going to go with the post score. As you can see, the badges that they can get Hall of Fame is Drop Stepper, Postman Technician, Dream Leg Up and Under, Brick Wall, and Bruiser. All good badges to have. And then for your height, you are going to go with 7 foot 2. Wingspan, you're obviously going to max that out. Weight, you're going to go 271. 271 pounds. Trust me on that, you're going to think, oh, you're too slow. You're going to want to go 271 pounds. This is the best, pretty much big man build in the game. But yes, best post scorer build. Shoulder width, max it out, handed, doesn't matter. And pretty much, guys, now let's get into the attribute upgrades. Alright guys, for the attribute, attribute upgrades, this is what you're probably looking at. You're going to want to get your layups and dunks max out. Mid-range, I would stop here because... With that mid-range, you're going to be very consistent, especially with how the game is. You're going to be fine. Three-point, max that out, man. I mean, that's just how this game is turned into. A 55 three-point shot with catch-and-shoot, corner specialist. You're going to be money in the corner. Obviously, you're going to max out post-scoring. You're going to max out strength, max out rebounding, and then defending. I'd put it up to about here. That's pretty much all I would say because you'll be fine playing low post defense like this. And as for agility, this would be probably all I would put in because either way you're going to be really slow and you're going to want to have attribute upgrades to put into your shot off dribble because that shot close is going to be huge for post fades. So you're going to want to put some in a shot off dribble because those will help your post fades. And if you have a little bit left, I'd put some into playmaking, give you a little bit more control of the ball so you don't get ripped as much in the post. But yeah, and then for badges, I mean... You're going to want every badge. Like With every player that I have, my goal is to get every badge because every badge is helpful. So that's pretty much what I got to say about the badges. But yeah, guys, this is the best post score build and pretty much big man build in the game, in my opinion. So go make this one. You will dominate in Pro-Am and at the park. But yeah, so now I'm just going to give you a few little clips of how my post score will work. And I appreciate you guys watching this. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Please leave a sub and a like. And yeah, guys, so TD for three. Peace.